If you found $20 on the sidewalk, you'd look around to make sure somebody else didn't obviously drop it. Remember, it's not a game of finders, keepers, losers, weepers if a 20 falls out of a fellow citizen's pocket. Once you determined it was truly found money, you'd grab it and maybe treat yourself or buy a fraction of a share of Tesla. Whatever your choice, you'd somehow, even if super casually, factor it into that day's budget. Plus, you'd feel lucky. Not win the lottery lucky, but lucky nevertheless. And this is a good way to view Social Security. All day, every day, we're reading articles and research about money here at The Juice. One thing we're pretty sure of, Social Security doesn't get mentioned a lot in retirement planning discussions. And when it does, it's much maligned. While we don't think you should focus on Social Security ahead of retirement or subsequently rely on it in retirement, we do think future recipients of the entitlement do themselves a disservice if they don't even consider it. There's nothing wrong with banking on money you have coming to you after having paid Social Security taxes over decades of employment. In the best case scenario, your monthly Social Security check is gravy. You can blow it, invest it, or set it on fire. In the next best case scenario, it helps supplement a comfortable retirement funded primarily by ample savings and investments. However, in the worst case scenario, you not only rely on Social Security, but you can't make ends meet without it and some form of employment in old age. And the next worst case scenario comes from some research that took us by surprise and reignited our thinking on Social Security and retirement. If you've got big federal student debts, pay them off as soon as you can, because they could affect your Social Security payouts. In today's Juice, we investigate further to find the bottom line, as well as considering ways to factor Social Security into your post-60-year-old budget. Don't forget to subscribe.